I'm Sasha Segan, Senior Manager of Public Relations at Qualcomm Technologies, maker of Snapdragon Technologies, and this is Snapdragon Spaces in plain English. You're going to hear a lot about mixed reality this year. I'm here to tell you about how to get over one of the big hurdles to the next great applications happening on cool, lightweight, wearable glasses. The dream of mixed reality is one where you stop craning your neck down at your phone all the time and look up. You might be looking at the world around you with augmented enhancements, or you might be in an entirely virtual world. That's why we say mixed, AR and VR. But for this to happen, someone has to develop these virtual experiences. Okay, look at all these phones. Now imagine that someone who wants to write a game for these phones has to change their game for every model of phone. It would be really difficult for phone games to take off that way, right? That's where we are with headsets now, and that's a big part of the problem Snapdragon Spaces aims to solve. Snapdragon Spaces deals with the differences between different headsets, letting your productivity app, or your 3D game, or your museum app run without tweaking it for every manufacturer. What Android did for phones, Snapdragon Spaces is trying to do for headsets. That means in the future, you'll be able to choose your headset based on price or battery life or how cool it looks and not have to worry about whether it works with your specific phone. As long as they all have Android and Snapdragon Spaces, you're good. Snapdragon Spaces has some other cool tricks too. It lets developers really easily toss features off their phone apps into space. You can take flat on-screen experiences and have them become immersive 3D much more easily than before. Now you're gonna ask, how can I use this now? If you're a developer, you can download and start coding with Snapdragon Spaces now, and that way you'll be ready as headsets and phones that are Snapdragon Spaces compatible roll out throughout 2023 and 2024. Then we can say the future really is looking up. You can find out more about Snapdragon Spaces at spaces.qualcom.com.